So there, see? So it says up and down. Right, that's the... But what we want to do is we want to work out where we want the gravel to be. Out of bucket? Yep. So we're going to get these uh, rims, put them on the pad, level them out for, with concrete and then rest the container on it. Okay, now come over this side, so you're going to have to be do it quarters, okay? There, 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 because it's got to go the whole way around.
See how much it's going to go down? Yep. Check it, which way needs to go down. Lift the level up on one end. This one. Okay, sweet. So you want to bang about there, right? Because there and there has to go down, so you split it in half. Work out what's going on here so I could show you. So we've got four dots in the thing, right? Which are the tires? Which are the tires? So if you draw a right angle, mm -hmm. right, and you had another right angle over here, yeah. like that, as long as it was square, you could measure across those distances there, and they should be the same measurements, right? Yeah. So let's put a dot where our tire is and measure out. Let's say a hundred mils, right? Mm -hmm. So center to center, yeah, hundred mils, right? Mm -hmm. And then we'll go out three hundred. Well, let's make it two hundred for either sake. Okay, mm -hmm. so center to center, out three hundred from that point. Now what we haven't got is a square line there, right? So we need to actually get that square. So we've got a starting point that's square. And we'll use the inside of this square. Okay, so that dissects each of those corners. Mm -hmm. So you can now extend this line, because it's a straight line. And you can extend this line out, because it's a straight line. Yeah. Now... Measure that distance there between there and there. Two hundred and twenty-four. Okay, measure the other way. Two hundred and twenty-four. Right. So that means we've actually got a square edge. But when you've got so let's say if I moved this to the tire in a little bit, mm -hmm. to there. Oops. And then we join those lines up, right? Now this is going to be an over-exaggeration, yeah. but even if you're off a little bit, mm -hmm. now measure now measure those angles. What's that angle there now? Three hundred seventeen. Right. I mean two seventeen. That should be the same as before, right? Oh, hold on, because you're not on the corner there. That's there you right. go. Yeah. yeah. 224 right 224. so that tells you that it's not square so we have yeah. got something we're out by 10 mils mm -hmm. so we can actually work out because we know the length of that mm -hmm. right so if we know that and we know that and we know that how many degrees is that uh, 90 90 then you can actually work out what that distance between there and there is so that's why it's important for your maths at school mm -hmm. so then we can work out what that should be okay yeah. So we'll go and work out what, we know what X is, which is 6 metres and 58, isn't it? Yeah. And that's 2, 4, uh, something. We'll have to look at the calculator, I'll go back and measure it. Okay, and we know that's 90, we'll actually be able to work out what that is, mm -hmm. and then we can know what the correct measurement is. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yep. Put those in your calculator. Oh, here, I'll give you the calculator. You want a scientific calculator, eh? Just a normal one. Put on the side. There you go. So tell us what that question mark should be. It's square root on this, that. No, square root's, uh, yeah. 6.5 6.53 yeah and that's pretty much what we had wasn't it so yeah. this dimension along here 6.53 okay 6.53 so that's how we can check that it's square so we go and measure those corners yeah. and see what we've actually got eh? Mm -hmm. let's go bro
So just let me pull it tight. Six meters and 53, right? Yep. That one's pretty much bang on. Now that one's close enough too. Okay? So, maths in action. Yeah. It is worth it. Okay, just a light sprinkle of water to start with. <laughs> That's just a light to stop the dust from coming up. Yeah. Okay, so just put a bit of water in. I'm going to show you how to mix it. That's enough. Max, get up. So basically you're turning it over like that. Okay? Yep. Yep. Okay, Sammy, so tell us what we're doing here, bud. Uh, we've put some rims down and now we're filling them with uh, concrete for the container to sit on. Yep, and we've leveled them out when we laid them in and we're leveling them as we make them flat. Yep. Okay, that's enough, bro. So all we're doing is agitating the concrete into the rim so that we get full surrounds and you'll see it bubbling up out over the sides here. So the last mixes we've made fairly sloppy just so we get that good agitation. Okay, but another one please. Hold it there. Okay, another one, just a half one maybe. Beautiful. Might want one more, just a small one. Beautiful. Now we get the level. Just okay, two hands just rested on there gently. Bang on, beautiful. Okay, bud, lay that in there. Yeah, head sails up. Yep, that's it. Oh, it's pretty much set. There you go, wait, wait, wait. There you go. Excellent, eh? Yeah. Happy? Yep. Have you gone around and checked all the levels again? Yeah. And you were happy with them? Yeah.